When it comes to shooting in a flat shot style, using a mannequin or shooting flatly as I did on my channel is not always a good solution, especially when you have to retouch the mannequin out or the hanger. This is why I developed a new technique which I called invisible hanger shot. I've been shooting thousands and thousands of images that way so I'm sure this method really works so please pay attention to every single detail I'll show you in this video. Let's talk about how I set up the studio. First of all I set up the polyboard panel at the back 2.4 by 1.2 meters the bigger one which I covered with paper the arctic white colorama. This allows me to get a smooth surface, so in case I have to keep the shadow, I can just have a really smooth surface. Talking about lighting, I always use a 400 or 500 watt studio flash. In this case I'm using a softbox 120cm at the front of the light to have nice and soft shadow on the garments. I don't recommend using two light, one on the left and one on the right, because you get a very flat lighting, which is not interesting. If you use just one light on the right or on the left, you're gonna get a nice three-dimensionality of the product. And also it's nice to keep the natural shadow at the bottom. Let's talk about camera. It doesn't matter which camera you use, the only thing, use a focal lens between 50 and 70 mm to avoid any distortion on the garments. I use Capture One to stream images from my camera to my my laptop. In this case I can see much better details, check focus, also do the crop and renaming while I'm shooting. Before start shooting I place 10 pins to the right and 10 to the left of the polyboard so like that I can just grab some pins and place on top of the garment. Now we are ready to talk about how I style garments without using any hunger. Basically if I'm shooting any top which has collar, I just grab the collar and keep it on top of the polyboard with my thumb and pinky fingers. So like that, I can just grab some pins and pierce the garments from inside the collars. By doing this, I can avoid any pin retouching. After that, if it's a light fabric, I can just grab the shoulder and give a nice shape on top of the polyboard panel, grab two more pins, place it, one on the right and one on the left shoulder. If you are shooting t-shirt or shirts, it should be fine to hang them just with four pins, but in case you are shooting something heavier like jackets or coat, you can just pin next to the collar with two, six or more pins, so in this case it's gonna hang very very firmly. For a better grip I always recommend to insert the pin pointing downwards. Now you're probably wondering about how I style all the garments always in the same way. Well, you have paper on the wall so you can just draw the shape of your garments and place them on top of it. You can draw for example a little cross or a corner where you have to place the arms, cuffs and whatever. Doing the same thing when shooting trousers, so I'm placing one pin on the right and one on the left, which should be fine. For some of them, I have to pull them up from the middle just to close a little bit the legs. Same as before, you can create references on the paper to follow shapes. Now all that's left is try to experiment this technique. It might seem difficult at first, but once you try it, it becomes very quick and effective to shoot that way. Roughly, I can shoot around 100 garments in 4 to 5 hours and retouch 100 garments in 6 to 7 hours, which is really good because I don't have to retouch any hunger or pins from my garments. So always try to place the pins where you can hide them or at the back of the fabric. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, if so please subscribe to my channel, don't forget to give a thumbs up and also please follow me on Instagram if you want to reach me out very quickly. I'll see you in the next video, meanwhile just keep shooting nice images. Ciao!